So recently I've been playing lots of Diablo 4 beta. It is the second time around Diablo 4 beta is available. I've been playing a rogue and I'm really enjoying it. And I wanna show you some clips of my gameplay. Now, the rogue I've been really enjoying. It took a little bit of time to get going, but the completely awesome thing is that the rogue starts out very, very slow like most of the other characters and they actually get very, very good. Right around level 15, the rogue felt very well put together. Lots of mobility, lots of control, lots of CC. What I wanna do through this video is show you some gameplay clips that I took. I really had a lot of fun. I played the rogue and I played the druid. As of recording of this video, unbeknownst to me, beta is unfortunately over. I, uh, as soon as I logged out, beta was over. This is 3 p.m. Eastern time, my time. And unfortunately, beta is already over. I was under the impression that it was going all day Saturday, but I tried to get as much game time in as I could. So I got a rogue to level 20, and I got my druid to level 17. Was going for 20, did not make it there. Druid, I played as well. But in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the rogue. Now, the rogue starting out feels a little weak, and they feel a little weak like most of the other characters, Primarily because you don't have any gear, you start from scratch. We don't have a whole lot of gear, and we don't have a lot of, we don't have good weapons, and we don't have mobility. So as we start out, I started with a ranged rogue, which I did not capture gameplay of, but I started with a simple bow and arrow, something ranged, something that I could kill the enemies before they got to me and did damage. And as I leveled and as I gained levels and skill points and continued through the story, I ended up going with a dagger build, nice dagger build, couple of rare yellow daggers. One had a socket in it, which was very, very nice. A couple of other pieces of gear with some sockets, just some basic sockets. And I actually transitioned to a cold enhanced weapon build. I tried the poison enhanced weapon build and I enjoyed the cold a little bit more, particularly more for lots of big mobs of enemies, right? Lots of enemies where they can come through. I also talented into evade. I believe it was either called dash or evade once I evade through the enemies which is the space bar then I could unleash my ultimate again and I believe that was blade flurry and blade flurry would stun the enemies again so I open up with a cold enhanced which freezes them for two seconds 1.5 to two seconds and then I would actually give it a little bit of time one or two seconds again and then evade right through them and open up with blade flurry again and that would stun them and that provided more than enough crowd control for me to survive with the rogue which was very very awesome and then of course the shadow spheres helped out a lot that mitigates some damage and then you have some escapes the rogue has lots and lots of mobility and i really enjoyed playing the rogue now unfortunately as i mentioned beta is over i wanted to record a lot more game footage than i did and the unfortunate thing is beta is over. I was under the impression it was going to last all day today, today being Sunday, but we got a little bit of gameplay for now. I really enjoyed it. I wanted to try a few other classes other than the Barbarian. The one class I did not get to play was the Sorceress, and from my friend's feedback, the Sorceress feels very, very strong. So in this brief video with the limited amount of footage that I was able to record, I wanted to give you my thoughts and to share some of my experiences, especially with a class that I usually don't play. I typically do not play range classes or assassin classes like the Rogue. I typically, for me, what's comfortable is the Barbarian or the Bear Druid or the Werewolf Druid. I am a very much melee player and that is where my comfort is. And with that said, the Rogue felt very good, very strong, lots of mobility and lots of crowd control. And of course, you have to find synergies that work for you. And this is what really worked for me. So if you are on the fence on this game, the gameplay is very, very solid feels very good. The characters feel very powerful, especially using your skills. There's a lot of weight to them. And then of course, if you, there's a lot of weight to the enemy attacks as well. If you don't dodge or if you miss time enemy attacks a couple in a row, you will definitely feel it in your HP bar. So there it is. I wanted to give you my experience on playing the Rogue through this second live beta test, which was very, very short. I am looking forward to Diablo 4 launch, which is in a couple of weeks on June 6th. 
if you're still on the fence about the game hopefully you get a chance to try it out and if you haven't and if you're still on the fence hopefully this video helps you make your own informed decision with that said leave me a like and a subscribe down below also leave me a nice comment and if you're looking for friends to play diablo 4 with come join the discord we hang out we play a few different games together one of them being d4 that's gonna do it for me for more bear cozy videos check out the top right